Adib's net profit soars to a record high and Egypt's economic growth forecast is lowered. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes, I'm Ramia Faraj. Adib's 2023 net profit climbed to historic highs, soaring 45% year on year to $1.4 billion. The gains came on the back of strong revenues. With the positive results, the bank is recommending a higher dividend payout of 19 cents per share, equivalent to 49% of net profit. Egyptian economic growth will slow to 3.5% this fiscal year on its weakening pound, inflation, and as the Gaza crisis impacts its foreign currency reserves, according to a Reuters poll. Revenue from the Suez Canal fell 40% in early January. Moody's has downgraded Egypt's sovereign debt to negative from stable. Bitcoin has fallen over one-fifth since its peak earlier this month. It took a hit after the U.S. approved its first spot Bitcoin exchange-traded fund. Investors bought in expectation of the approval and then sold after the confirmation. The world's largest crypto is trading in the $39,600 range this morning. Netflix saw its strongest year ever in 2023 with $8.8 billion of sales in Q4 alone last year. It was a blockbuster year for Netflix with $33.7 billion of total revenue and $5.4 billion of net profit. These were each by far the best annual results in its history. Tesla has reportedly told suppliers it wants to start producing a new compact crossover vehicle in mid-2025. Elon Musk has long discussed plans for affordable EVs, including an entry-level $25,000 car. This would allow Tesla to compete with the growing number of inexpensive EVs on the market. SAP has unveiled a $2.17 billion restructuring plan covering 8,000 roles as it seeks to better focus on growth in AI-driven business areas. It says the restructuring will be implemented through voluntary leave programs and internal reskilling measures. It says it expects to end 2024 with a similar headcount. And the rapid development of AI tools will lead to an increase in cyber attacks and make it easier for less sophisticated hackers to do digital harm. That's according to the National Cybersecurity Center. It says AI will enable more ransomware attacks, whereby criminals encrypt computer systems for a digital ransom. And Donald Trump won the key New Hampshire primary overnight moving him even closer to locking in the Republican presidential nomination and securing an extraordinary White House rematch with Joe Biden. In response to his win, President Biden said, my message to the country is the stakes could not be higher. I'm Ramia Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.